And it is just five days until Chicagoans choose their next mayor. Today, Tony Preckwinkle launched a new ad attacking how Lori Lightfoot investigated a critical failure of the 911 call center. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely is taking a close look at the claims. The new ad is based on a very real tragedy, a 2004 Westside fire that killed three of Dwayne and Emily Funches's children, as well as a 12-year-old godson. A tragic fire made worse when the 911 call center run by Lori Lightfoot allegedly botched the response, costing lives. In the CBS2 report, neighbors said their calls to 911 weren't taken seriously. She called and asked her, was she playing? That was the ambulance asked, is you playing? And hung up on her. Lori Lightfoot was then chief of staff at OEMC, and her leadership was criticized by a Cook County judge after the city lost most of the 911 tapes critical to the investigation. And her response, according to the judge in the case, was lax, cavalier, and covering up. I specifically directed um, the staff to make sure that those tapes were preserved. Unfortunately, they were not, but um, th th that had nothing to do with the, the deaths of those children. A judge called her actions shocking and very, very troubling. If she wouldn't do what was right then, how will Lori Lightfoot bring in the light now? Tony Preckwinkle insists it's fair to recount the incident 15 years later because it cast doubt on Lightfoot's integrity and ability to lead. You don't engage in cover-ups when things go wrong. You take responsibility and you try to address the problems. But Lightfoot dismissed the ad as an act of desperation for a campaign that's failing. The notion that you were gonna to try to score political points in a tragedy where four young children died is really, um, a, a, I think, a new all-time low. By the way, we tried to contact the Funches family, even went to their West Side home, in an effort to get their opinion on use of the fire tragedy in a political ad. We didn't reach them. Reporting live in the newsroom, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Derek, thank you. If you still haven't made up your mind, you can study both candidates on our website. Head to cbschicago.com slash voter guide. You'll find bios, interviews, and where they stand on key issues.